Yo, what's up guys, it's Vader and I'm back and as promised in the previous review what we're taking a look at now, the ultimate Shaman Predator from Predator 2 and this just got released a, a couple of, I think it was like about a couple of weeks ago it basically got released and ordered it quite um, late, it was like about near enough at the start of this um, um, start like basically like i think it was like on the um 29th or something i got this 29th of december and um, it arrived quite recently and just had a lot of posing with it when i took it out of the box and all that the usual just seeing if the joints and all that work like what i do with all the, the predators that i get just to see if there's any like joints and stuff that are a bit of a, a hit or miss but anyway Onto the actual box itself, um, I really do like the box on this one. You've got like a little backstory on the um, Shaman Predator there, it'll just um, do a little, um, you know, you can pause that and have a look at what it says about them there. Some um, additional poses that you can get them in. I really, really like the um, poncho that this one comes with, I like this little cloak here that he has. And I like this artwork as well that he has. I like the alien skulls and all of that. It's really cool. And I've took the actual box part out. And this is like a prototype image of what you can basically achieve with this guy. And it looks pretty badass looking, I do, if I do say so myself. Very primitive looking, and that's why I like this guy. So much with like how his armor and his, um, his um, clothing kind of is, it's like more like primitive kind of design. He's not like getting like, any high tech weapons or stuff on him, it's all like very native kind of primitive, whatever you want to describe it. So that's the box now. What I'll do now is I'll show you guys the accessories that it comes with now. So now that we've got the accessories out, we'll take a look at them. And the first thing I'll take a look at is the spear. Now, we actually did get this in a previous release of the um, Shaman Predator. I think this was like the only thing that it came with, or the um, smart discs as well, but yeah. Pretty nice detail on this. You've got like little trophies there that has little bones and trinkets that he's put on his um, spear. You've got the wrist blades there at the top, as if he's took them off himself. He's got like ropes and stuff on the um, spear as well, which is really, really cool. And then you've, you've got this like axe with like a spine on it, as if he's like sculpted it himself. It's really cool. I guess you could call like this guy like the um the wet maker, like it'll just like basically like make stuff out of anything, like put a bit of a um a axe on a spine and then um, get this one as well, which is kind of like a ceremonial kind of kind of dagger I would say. With, like some blood splatters on there as well. I guess this is like something that he was like probably working on. A skull there, which is cool. And then silk, two silver smart discs. One that's like opened up, and then the other one as if it's like housed. And then I'll probably save. In fact, I'll probably save the extra head. But yeah, this is the poncho, and it's got like a little wire in it, so you can have it like as if it's like flown in the wind. And it's really nice. I really like um, stuff like this, especially like on a predator, because it's very unusual for you to like see a predator with like, a cloak. But yeah, I really, really do dig that. And then we have the alternative head sculpt. You can actually see that he's actually got, it's got, a, you can see his eyes there as well, which is really, really cool. I really do like this helmet. It kind of reminds me of the 
the Troll Helmet from Skyrim, which was a mod in Elder Scrolls, Sky Elder Scrolls Skyrim that you could have like different Predator um, helmets and that kind of reminds me of like, the Troll Helmet a little bit. As if he's killed like some alien from another, another galaxy and he's like took the majority of its like skull and made it into an actual helmet which is really badass and cool. Reminds me of those dinosaurs actually with the um the skulls that could like they would bash you and stuff. It reminds me of that the way that this part is but the, like the ridges coming out of it. I do like the fact you can actually see his eyes there as well. Which is really cool. And that could be a little scar there from the, um, is that, I don't know if it's like just the way that that is, or am I tripping? The way that that, that part is there kind of reminds me of the T shape and the one that Scar Predator has, or it could just be the way that it's been painted, but it does look like the T shape. But anyway, enough ranting about that. Yeah, I really do like the um, accessories that this guy comes with. You do get a bunch of accessories so now i'm going to actually show you guys the actual figure himself and i'll do some like poses and extra stuff with like the extra head and the um cloak so bear with me so now we've actually got a look at the figure now and i really have to say i am super excited about how this guy actually turned out super excited this is the first issue that I've got um, this guy and I ha have to say the overall um, sculpt work and like the paint on him is really really nice. I've got like the bandages there on his wraps and like some little threads there as if he's like just thought fuck it I'm not going to wear the stuff that um, the other um, yelches are wearing I'm going to make my own shit. Some more like spikes there as if he's like made that out of stuff and like put the um, spikes there to like keep it in place. I really do like how this guy looks, it's very unique. These pouches there and stuff. Like I guess you could call them like medicinal purposes, like he's got like, a pouch there full of like medicine and like what would you call him again? Oh, like a witch. That's basically what this guy is. He reminds me of like a witch doctor. Like a predator witch doctor, I guess. That's what they were going with with the whole um, artwork there. But yeah, I really do like this guy. I wish the eyes were a bit darker, but that inside of the eyes were a bit darker but then you wouldn't really see the actual pupils but that's just a little nitpick but this is just a really really great figure and I do like the fact that they've actually like put the netting on on the joints there if you notice it's there but it's not because obviously that's not got netting there that's a really really cool touch I really do like the netting on this guy because the way that the netting is, it's kind of like a, a greyish colour instead of it like being the typical black and I really, really do like that, it pops a lot. Especially at this part here, like at the legs and at the back as well, it really looks nice. So what I'll do now is I'll basically like put them into some little poses with the accessories and you guys and I'll talk a bit more a bit more about the articulation that this guy comes with but I am just I am just blown away by how this guy looks. So when you take off the head, I forgot to mention that as well, he's got like a little necklace part here as well with some like bone trophies there as well. And a little scarf there as well, I guess you could call that. And some armor from like the Predator 2 and the actual Predator 1, which is really cool. I, I do, that's the thing a lot of people are nitpicking right now about NECA. They keep using the rehash, like they keep rehashing parts, but 
if you think about it, the Predators in Predator 2 were like that. Like they just like designed parts from like Predator 1 and 2 and I really do like that. I really do like that about this guy, he's like kind of got that about him. But they've like added more like I like that part there as if it's like been added from the like the Predator 1. Instead of all just being like Predator 2. I really do like that. But what I'm going to do now is get the um, scarf on him now, or the um, poncho or his little cloak. And I don't know if I should put this head back on him, the normal head, or have him with the skull helmet on him. I'll put the skull helmet on him first actually. Well guys, I think I have found my thumbnail for this video. Holy shit, this looks incredible. That looks fucking incredible. Obviously I've not tinkered with this part too much, but you can kinda get the 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 just of it with like you like the pose and all it, but that helmet looks fucking sick. And that skull as well, and the obviously the axe. Oh man. I'm really digging this guy. This could actually be my my favourite figure that I've actually got this year. Well, by uh, put like Predator figures this year. Even though this one came out last year, but honestly, this guy is so cool. I've never been this happy with a Predator figure in a while, and I just have to say, this guy is awesome looking. He's very unique. He's very, very unique looking. I just love that helmet. And the fact that the dreads are actually his, like really long ones as well. And they come basically to his like chest area. So he's it's a very he's a very looking it's a very menacing looking predator, especially if you've just got him like that. Because that fucking helmet looks sick. So I'll do one more pose with the, the um, unmasked head with the um, probably the spear and I'll wrap this review up because I'm I'm just I'm just um, blown away by this guy right now okay guys so before I wrap this video up I'm just gonna do this last pose and you guys can tell me what you think but honestly this guy is probably my favorite for posing now because you can get him i might buy this guy actually could be the only predator that i've actually considered buying two of i'm not joking he's there's so many like options you can do with this guy helmet off helmet on cloak on cloak off and so on but yeah this guy is just insane and this will be the final pose that i'm leaving him with just now so you've got the, the spear there and the dagger there obviously the skull there as well but yeah i am just absolutely blown away by how good this guy looks in poses like i mentioned you can basically um get any get this guy in any pose and it will look sick he does have a really good shelf presence about him as well, but I noticed when I was like displaying with like the other Predator figures that I have, because of his, um, his paint tones and his colours, where of like a white, you're kind of like drawing to like the overall white, same with the Alpha Predator as well. So I definitely recommend if you find this guy, I definitely recommend picking him up. Honestly, I sure won't be disappointed with this guy. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this review up. It's been a long one talking about this guy, but I felt like I had to actually talk about him. So, the next video that I've got planned is going to be another Predator, and then it's on to the Hot Toys Anakin from The Clone Wars. So, as ever, guys, take care, and thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers, guys. Thanks. <laughs>